Yo, what's up guys? This is Kobe with Sample Source back with another video. And in today's video, what I'm gonna be talking about is how to find artists the best way that I know how to. So this is gonna be a very fast video, but this revolutionized how I approach finding artists organically, how I reach out to artists without ads, without beat stars, and I still am able to make a living from this. So I really wanted to share this guys with you. This is an exact approach so that you can start applying this today and start getting some sales coming in. Okay guys, so this is gonna be really quick here. So I make R&B beats, so I wanna go to YouTube. I wanna go and type in whatever kind of beat I make. So let's say it's a Bryson Tiller type beat. And if you don't want it to be uh, basically all the producers in the world who are going to be looking for Bryson Tiller type beats, you can start typing in things like this, 2023. You can do uh, free for profit. You can even just leave out the type and just do like Bryson Tiller beat. And that's going to yield a different result, as you can see. So once we get to something like this, the first thing that you want to do is make sure you have vidIQ installed. So you can see I have vidIQ installed. And what's that's going to do for me? I can come down here and see it's powered by vidIQ. I can see how many subscribers they have. And the reason why this is important is because I don't want to hit up people who are the biggest um, out there. So like Scandy Beats, one of the biggest out there. I want to scroll down a little bit and... Um, Let's go to foreign sounds. So we'll go and click on this one. And we'll just go and go to the description and find his IG. And okay, so he has a hyperlink to make it easy on us. So when we get over to his Instagram, what we're looking at is the followers. So it doesn't matter that he doesn't have any posts or anything like that. We're gonna do all of this from the desktop. So you just go and click on their followers and what we're going to be looking for um, is basically any kind of profiles that look like an artist. So we're just going to scroll down a little bit and just highlight over them. Um, so that I mean, that could be an artist. So we're just going to middle click it out. And so up here, we're going to have all of the tabs that we find of people that seem like they could potentially be artists. And one thing is you want to just avoid all producers, obviously but it's going to take a minute to go and determine if they're artists or not like some of these are going to be personal profiles so if i go and click on this one most likely a personal profile it says like art and that type of thing so we just x out of those and so you just keep doing this over and over again until you find enough artists to where you can hit up so if you do this consistently you can probably find 20 artists per day so what i kind of look for is a really professional headshot so this might be an artist so let me go and look over here perfect so this is kind of the ideal profile that we're looking for usually a personal profile doesn't have a headshot like this so that's what kind of tipped me off that he's an artist and you can see he's got over a thousand followers but it's it's definitely not to the point where he's unreachable so if he has like 200 followers probably not going to reach out if he's got like 10,000 plus followers i'm probably not going to reach out either so the sweet spot is between like 1 and 10k uh, for the most part. So that's what we're really looking for. It seems like he's a serious artist. He's got the whole profile together. He doesn't have, um, you know, a distro kit, it looks like. So that is the only thing that's a little bit suspect. But he is putting out content. So I feel like this would be a really good artist to hit up to sell beats to. And just to show that we can replicate the process for trap beats, let's go and look up um, an artist that dress, just dropped an album. So let's just do. 21 Savage, and let's find a producer that is a little bit smaller just to show that you don't have to hit up even like the mid-range YouTube producers that have like 10, 20, 30,000 subs. You can hit up, hit them up if they have even less than that. So let's find somebody with around 5,000 subscribers. Uh, so Drew Speets. And um, the other way that you can find their IG, you can just click right there. You can click on the About section and they should have their IG up here. So they got it linked uh, down in links. So that's two ways to find their Instagram so that you can just hyperlink it or have it hyperlinked. And so when you come over, he's only got 1000 followers. This is perfect. Um, even if they have less than that, it's still fine. So what you're gonna uh, ideally look for is probably about a third of their followers or are like personal, a third of producers and a third of artists. So there's probably about three, 400 artists on this profile. So you just go click on the followers, ignore any of the uh, producers, right? 
So let's go and try to find a wrapper. Um, that's probably not a wrapper. But when I, when I look at this profile, you see that the headshot looks very professional. So I just middle click that. And uh, let's come over and see if they're an artist. So they're actually a producer. Sometimes that happens. So we'll just keep going through. I believe he is a rapper. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see like this is really, really quick to, to find artists. And even though you have to sift through a few of them, if you do this for one hour, you can find about 50 artists. And if you can hit up 50 artists a day, you're going to be guaranteed to have some sales coming in. So I wanted to show this process really quick so just to show you can replicate it across R&B, trap, even if you make different kinds of beats like pop or, uh, you know, reggaeton, afro, that type of thing. You can just go and find the producer that produces the kind of beats that you do and then find their IG and link with all of the artists that they have uh, they have basically accumulated that come from YouTube. So that's a great way to find artists to hit up and you can keep doing this and replicating it for years and you'll never run out of artists. So if you need help setting up your DM funnels, if you need help setting up your sales calls uh, and sales process, I sell, I sell beats over the phone. So if you need any kind of help doing that, I've helped producers do both and make thousands of dollars a month. So I do coaching. If you're interested in that, just DM me on Instagram the words I'm interested. And so that'll be the link in the description. So you can go there and then we can just chop it up for a little bit and see how I can help potentially. And if you're a good fit, then maybe we can move forward and do some coaching, help you to make thousands of bucks a month. So if you're interested in that, definitely hit me up. But if not, then there's this video here for you to help you find artists. So I appreciate you guys watching. See you guys in the next.